Would you like to have a website which your players can visit to see an interactive map of your Minecraft server's world? I'm Tom from Shockbite, and in this video, I'll be guiding you through how you can do this with the use of DyneMap. Before we begin, it's good to know what DyneMap actually is. The plugin allows you to view a live map of your Minecraft server's world, similar to Google Maps. On this map, you'll also be able to see the current location of players and the location of certain landmarks on your server. Before you can begin setting up DyneMap, you first need to allocate an additional part for the plugin to use. To do so, first log in to your Multicraft control panel, and then on the left hand side, navigate to Advanced Additional Parts. On the Additional Parts page, click Add Part. This will generate an unused part for your server. When the new part is displayed, take a note of what it is, as you will need it for later on in the setup process. Now, you first need to install the plugin onto your server. If you've not already done so, click the top right corner of your screen now for a guide on how to do so. To begin setting up DyneMap, you first need to log into your server's Multicraft control panel and stop your server if it's currently running. Now, navigate to Files, FTP File Access, then log into the FTP File Manager and navigate to the DyneMap Plugins folder. Now, locate the file name configuration.txt and click on the Edit button to the right hand side. In this file, look for the line that says def template suffix and set this to def template suffix low res. Then, in the same file, locate the line with the web server port setting. You need to change this to a port allocated specifically to your server. Here, enter the port you created earlier. When you finished updating this file, press save to save all changes and exit the text editor. Now start the server to load up the changes you've made. When the server has started, you can visit the server's DyneMap page by inputting the server's IP into a browser, then adding a colon and inputting the port you entered earlier and pressing enter. When you first load the web page for your server, you may see an entirely blank screen similar to this. This is normal and is because map images have not had time to generate just yet. They will gradually generate over time as players move around the world. If you would like to fully generate your map now, you can use the command slash dynemap full render, either in console or in game. It is, however, important to note that generating your map like this will use up a large portion of your server's RAM and may cause lag spikes. Don't worry, this is completely normal. It is, however, recommended to do this when there's no players online to prevent any interruptions or lag while playing. When your server has finished generating the images, your map should now look somewhat like this. You should now know how to successfully set up DyneMap on your Minecraft Java Edition server. If you found this tutorial helpful, let us know by liking the video and leaving a comment down below. And don't forget to subscribe to Shockbite for more game and game server tutorials like this.